taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, no top, you stop breathing. Yeah, and then we have another fight. This is a Friday fight, too. You know, where Shakur Stevenson defends his unified super featherweight titles against Robson Canseo. Now, this fight, it's not a bad fight, per se. You know, like I said, because Canseo, I mean, he's not a bad fighter. It's just, if you want to say he, he's, I mean, obviously he's known for his more disappointing loss to uh, PED and up uh, Oscar Valdez more than anything, but more than any of his wins, really. But, you know, it, it's not a bad fight. I mean, Shakur obviously now is now is broken through. He's like, he, depending on how you, he's like top 10 for pound for pound, wherever you want to call him like that. Yeah, it's a decent contender, <laughs> contender type fight. Um, you can't get too mad at these fights because you want to see like this is the gauge for the errors like right mm-hmm. you, you want to see how guys like Shakur Stevenson can handle legit top 10 guys uh, and Robson's a gold medalist you know what I mean like he's you know he ain't no slouch yeah. so he's, he's, he's no snot slouch he's quality he can punch a bit he can box a bit you know this fight is at a 1 through 10 this fight is about maybe a 7 yeah that, this is an absolute set of a 7 fight this is a good fight. I think um, I, was, I think I think casuals might think it's kind of quote unquote boring because it's going to be a tactical match. You know, early on it's going to probably this be, fight's you know, been getting no promotion. And honestly, the reason yeah. why the fight ain't bad because if you're coming from a Valdez victory, then I mean that fight was this year. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that was this year. You talking about you talking about Shakur? Yeah, yeah. Valdez. Yeah, that was, yeah, this was this year. Yeah. Okay, so honestly, if he has a great performance in this, you could put him as a fighter of the year because he's fighting and uh, he fought a champ and then another top contender. So, right. nah, uh, but see, some people, I, some people just, some people discredit that Valdez win, bro. I hate um, uh, people talk shit like Valdez wasn't really that good, you know. I hate what? that shit. You serious? Who does this? I see. I hear that. I hear that a lot. I hear like you know, Valdez wasn't good, but it's really to discredit Shakur. For, yeah, serious. that's that's crazy. That's um. That's that's big. That's big, that's big hating energy. That, that's crazy because um, yeah, no one says Valdez was the favorite, but he was a legit fight. Like yeah, that, that it's the yeah. fight that we wanted to see. Like that. This is the thing. Yeah. Like y'all can't be talking about fights y'all want to see, and whether somebody's a favorite or not. And then when y'all get the fight, and y'all get it in a timely manner too. Yes. Mm-hmm. And yeah, a unification. Yeah. Then y'all, then y'all just you know take away the fight away like y'all y'all take away the victory y'all just like well you know he really wasn't that good because you know, the wrong guy won yeah because the wrong guy the, the guy you didn't want want to win won so now he it's win, like yeah. like yeah he, oh um, he was a bum he was a bum he's a bum he wasn't that good it's like come on man and then so if if, if he's fighting someone that good that y'all <laughs> care so little about why should he fight anybody better than uh the robson dude Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so you see how y'all fuck up the sport like that? Right. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the best fight they can make at uh, one thirty for him right now. Yo, outside, you know, outside, outside, of, outside of facing like the other champions or so, like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And honestly, it might be even better because the other champions might not even be known as much as dude. Right. Like Cordina, obviously, yeah, yeah. Would be, I mean, the IBF champion would, you know, would be it would be an interesting fight, you know, because Cordina's coming off a highlight reel knockout for the title, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and I think and both fighters clearly won it, but it's more or less, you know, whether if Bob actually thinks it's worth its time or, you know, or if score goes up to 135. Because these niggas yeah. need these little gimmicks and, and carny, you know, side attractions to sell these fights instead of just being on some like, look. This dude's a hard punching guy, undefeated. This, that, that, and he's matched up with Shakur Stevenson. Nah, that's that's too easy. Motherfuckers got to. Well, he's from Puerto Rico, or he's from Dominican Republic, or he's mm-hmm. from Cuba, or he's from Madagascar, or he's from Japan. Like, right? And, I don't and give a fuck of, about all that shit. Yeah, on top of that, Cancel did come off a really good win early this year against Xavier Martinez. Who ironically was, you know, moved over from PBC to top rank because he thought it would be more of a chance for him, and you know, and it ended up he he laid an egg and lost his zero to Conceal like, co- like clearly, you know, really good fight. Like, exactly. So it's like the other champions they not even having the momentum like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like at least Robson got like two performances back to back that we kind of know him from. 
Right. And, and like I said, it, like I said, it makes it now. Even if you think that Shakur, like Shakur is not going to have. I mean, it, it might. I mean, he might make it look it, but it's not an easy fight. Like I mean, because he like I said, he gave he gave Valdez trouble too. Like you know, until Casale, unfortunately, you know, he made a big mistake. You know, like you got to take the fight from a champion. Like you know, you can't. He started, you know, kind of bullshitting a little bit, and that's what and that's what cost him the, his belt against Valdez. You know. Um, but like I said, I mean, he's still he's still tough guy. He's still gonna. I mean, he still has the skills to at least get, to make Shakur actually work. So it's more or less like you know, it's an intriguing fight. I mean, it's Shakur, you know, eight, you know, he has eighteen fights. He's still a unified champion, and he's still a talent though. But you, it might just not be as easy as you think it is. Um, yeah, it's just a, this is a good fight. I mean, I see it. Well, Andre, I'm sorry, Andre, <laughs> Android just put. Um, Rob Robson, Robson should have got the nod against Valdez, in my opinion. So the fight is at least on par with the Valdez one. Not as hype though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's up there. It's on par. I mean, I don't think. I think it's hometown. He's in New Jersey. I think it's, it's back in his hometown. Yeah, it's, 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 they're, it's, they're it's, making him an attraction. Yeah, cool. Robson gave up that fight though. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah, Robson had that, that fight in the bag against Valdez. I don't. I don't feel like he was robbed. Like he had to fight. He kind of just let it go. Like yeah. And, and Valdez is good at winning rounds and coming back. He keeps his power late. He moved his hands enough. He's the money guy. They gave right. it to him. But you know, I hope, I hope Robson learned from that. And if he puts you know Shakur Stevenson in any disadvantage, he better you know. Maintain it, or doesn't let Shakur make an adjustment on him. You know? Thank you. Yeah. yeah you, you make got, that you shit got, count. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then they got Keyshawn Davis on the, as the co-main, but he's facing like a yeah. Yeah, like like I said, uh, unfortunately, it's like a typical top rank card. It's like you know they don't you know it's they have a good or solid main event. But the rest of them are facing it's WWE superstar shit, you know, and that's the shit. Yeah, yeah. that's what's going in boxing now, man. It's like you getting too many cards where you just pairing them up with a showcase fight. Yeah, and I, well, I, I understand that you got to keep your 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 prospects busy and shit. Like, uh-huh. And Top Rank does the good job of that, but you can't. I can, you cannot keep loading your fights all like this shit. You got to put your established like- fighters. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now, and it's like I know. I mean, I like seeing Bruce Karen Chushu's dope, and then Cashflow Floyd Diaz and Jahai Tucker and LeBron. But it's like, who are they facing? You know? Yeah, exactly. This is the shit. Like they, they gotta time. stop doing this because eventually one of them is gonna. They keep doing this, and one of them is gonna get upset. Like because it, yeah, it never fails. Like they they got they got put their more established. Tr has established stars. They got to put them in established fights with other stars. If not other champions, like they got them, they got. I don't know why they're, they're settling in this type of groove, but they have to do it. And like, cause like, because if you want people to watch Shakur, you know, Shakur in the main event, you know, you gotta make sure they can actually stay and actually or want to watch it without turning the fucking channel. To, to that point, you know, and and like I said, and I like the TR. The TR prospects are good. I like watching them, but no, I love yeah. But they gotta match them up against each other eventually. You yeah, know what I'm saying? they exactly. probably won't. In too long to do that. It's like. It's, it's like you're seeing a, a, a TV series where you see the outcome, the same same thing, same right. every. It's the same boxing card. Like I, I'm just kind of sick of it. It's just it makes you just want to just tune into the main event. Like right. I, I can't even keep up with all these prospects because I don't care about them knocking out, you know, cannon fodder like that back to back, back to back. It gets to a point where yeah. I see every you, other card. You t- yeah, yeah, every other card. So it's like after I see you a couple times, I'm like, okay, he seemed like he could be the goods. Take this nigga off my TV, develop him off TV, bring him back three, four more fights later against a tougher guy. Right. But instead, y'all say, okay, here he is against, you know, a goblin level creature, you know, a m- motherfucking gremlin, like like the, the easiest, most beatable person in the game. Like, the, the random thug from Streets of Rage one, like <laughs> the foot soldier motherfucker, like and y'all say, okay, y'all gonna fight him first time. Then two months later, he's he's fighting this one, but this one has a different color shirt. 
<laughs> indicating he's slightly tougher. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> then you fight a th- fight a third time, and this one has a, a sweatshirt on. His shirt is different now, <laughs> <laughs> and so on, so on. And it's like they start the, the fight, the the ops start running, running the same. They start looking together, and it's like. Right. Yeah, and then Andrew is saying that yeah, yeah Andrew said mentioned yeah, TS basically been either do or die or do or die or showcase two extremes or nothing in between. Yeah, it's yeah, it, this like yeah, facts. It, yeah, great observation because that's fucking facts, and it's like mm-hmm. like either yeah, you're getting a mixed bag of results for these cards entertainment wise. Mm-hmm. Like when you yeah, when you deal with extremes, come on. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, it's probably, either probably, what you're about to I was gonna say, yeah, like Android says, like either prospect versus journeyman or loser, you know, loser leaves town in the main event type <laughs> shit, you know. <laughs> Yo, that's no, exactly really, you know, what you know, it is. You know that Pedraza fight was supposed to, was supposed to be, you know, the losers pretty much done. You know how Bob do. But yeah. but when you get a draw, you just say fuck it, feed him to my my A side guy. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> feed her the unexpected. Like these niggas say, you know what? Y'all ain't think we was gonna reuse them. Shit. So who Comey gonna fight? That's fucked up. Right. Yeah, I know. Oh, y'all gonna give him Barboza Jr. Oh, you know what? It. Probably Barboza. Probably Barboza. I can see, you know, yeah. Barboza Comey. Yeah. And you and see, and this is the problem. Instead of seeing Barboza Tiafimo and then having Comey and Pedraza rematch on the Comey, y'all niggas make two separate cards with all four fighters. Yeah. <laughs> like what idiots yeah. like, like, like that was wow. the easiest layup y'all could have legit had fucking Barbosa T.O. main event ESPN right and mm-hmm. had Pedraza Kome as the co-main mm-hmm. and all these guys like and this would have been a great double header and then you could have put a prospect. You could have. You could have even brought in motherfucking Nico Ali. God damn it! Right, because you since you want to. Yeah. He's like one of the few fighters that you actually do market all over the goddamn place. <laughs> and y'all would have had a great triple header. I would rather see Nico than Berlanga though. I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all could have said, okay, no Nico Ali. Let me get it a Xander Zayas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. And boom, y'all would have had an awesome triple header. Like, is that so fucking hard? But no, y'all niggas be on this her and shit where it's like y'all give everybody a no limit release. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, like grab five of these niggas and put them in a group and then boom, that's your release date, motherfucker. Like, all y'all niggas do not need your own card. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm tired of flipping the damn channel or, or the, the CD booklet and it's like 15 coming soon and all you motherfuckers look the same. <laughs> like, shit. Like, you 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 scroll through uh, IG or Twitter and you see the damn bout sheet and it's like, yeah, damn. Weren't these the same set of fights last time? Yeah. Yeah, so shit, I'm tired of seeing that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that, you know, that whole type of matchmaking, that that shit needs to go away, like big time, like, it's like straight up, and now that needs to go away. Loser leaves town, yeah, or 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 prospect versus journeyman, and it don't even be journeyman most of the time. It be prospect versus damn like club fighter, like, Ew, like fast, we yeah. fucking up the levels, like like club fighters beneath journeyman, like right. these niggas right. be legit fucking. Streets of Rage two goons, the, the, the third color shirt. That's who these niggas fighting, and it's right, like, like and, and the only person on. that I say you know that's that's been losing to those type of fighters has been is Josu Vargas. He's the only one that, <laughs> that, that can't beat, can't, that can't even beat a level of that type of fighter. He the only one well, damn yeah. going life and death with the the gray colored shirt thug. Like <laughs> <laughs> at least we, had, at least we said Gabe Flores too, though. So oh, yeah, Gabe. No, oh, facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. But, that good, but that but that but that Gabe Flores was like that. It, that was more fifty fifty, you know. But then, but, but this be, for, I think yeah. probably I think that's probably the reason why they're uh, on that whole shit up because you know they, they you know they they built up Gabe Flores to a degree, but the problem was you know once they started level up his competition, Gabe Flores you know was starting to get his, not just not just a regular ass whooping but severe ass whooping. 
It's like, but see, they gotta know when to cut their losses. They kept giving these dudes chance after chance and and top billing. Meanwhile, dudes like Delvin Rodriguez couldn't even afford a little stumble, and these niggas is like, "Fuck them, get it out, get them out of here." Like, you you can take the fucking stairs or the window. Like they was doing that type of shit to do. Mm-hmm. And turn around, look, look, look who's look, look who's boxing is being popular right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so lack of in lack of foresight for top rank on that. Yeah, you know, but I mean, but we do hope that, like I say, you know, Shakur, you know, I mean, for me, I mean, Shakur, I mean, if I had to pick a prediction, I'm asking Shakur Canseo. I do think Shakur can possibly stop Canseo. I'm thinking maybe 11th round. I'm I'm thinking. You know, I, I want to see the aggressive Shakur Stevenson. I, I want to see the Tupac Shakur. Like, you know what I mean, I don't want to see Brendan's got a baby Shakur. <laughs> Brendan's got a yeah, baby. I need to see hit him up Shakur. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. I need yeah, the the one that showed aggressive contact against Herring, or the one yeah. that, I mean, or at least put you know, then then not the I get around Shakur, my nigga. Yeah, I yeah, need yeah. Death Row. <laughs> Yeah, like I'll, I'll be impressed if he stops. If he stops Canseo, like you know. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, it'll go a long way. I mean, I don't. But like I, said, I don't think it's gonna be a bad. I mean, it's definitely not gonna be the Nakatia fight. I, I just don't see it. Nah, I think he's turning yeah. the corner. Shakur is being more sound, like being more aware of being offensive now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to see Shakur get a, stop, a stoppage. You know, maybe he he might. Um, I don't know. I need to see niggas like Haney and him get some stoppages though. Here, <laughs> it'll do a lot for his career this year. Like he'll put a stamp on it this year because he's only gonna get maybe two fights this year. And if you yeah, beat him, him Valdez, him. And, yeah. So him beating Valdez and stopping Casale, you know, that's a good. It puts him in the top ten fighters of the year. Like, who else is having a better year than that? Well, other than Usyk, maybe. <laughs> At least yeah, like, Usyk, and, and that's still just one fight. Yeah. Like, and that's I, and that's the thing I'm getting sick of. It's like niggas getting fighter of the year for just one fucking fight. Mm-hmm. It's usually because of the magnitude of the fight. But still, man, what kind of shit is that? Like, we give like are we niggas gonna give you the MVP for one game? Of the year, nigga. Ha <laughs> ha. Here, take your ring, man. Let's go. What you want? <laughs> Burger King? Like, the fuck? Like, come on, man. Imagine <laughs> you're the best player in the world based off of one game and it's for the whole year. Mm hmm. No, I look at it as they're just, I look at it as, let me put it like this. I don't know. I, I look at it as, like, the example would be like, there. some people are always going to give, like, best movie of the year to the most popular acclaimed movie like regardless of like you know like the quality it's just well that's the biggest of the no name ones so we'll just give it the movie of the year the same thing with the fight of the year it's like well that one big fight especially like the winner of Spence and Crawford will most likely get fighter of the year for a lot of people because it's just that fight because of the magnitude of it fuck all that other shit that's what people that's how they're thinking right which really is it just makes my point even more about how boxing is ran by non-boxing people and it's done for like on some casual shit when everybody really wants a hardcore take about it Mm -hmm. like i just if spence beats crawford then damn right he's um, um fighter of the year he had a ugas win too right a lot of these niggas don't even have the ugas win you know, facts. Like, so what the fuck? Like, I'm sorry, beating Anthony Joshua again in just one fight of the year is not gonna be Usyk is not my fighter of the year. I'm that's it. I'm hey. Like, I think that's a weak, easy, you know. That's just too easy. Like you're you're shitting on everyone else who's getting quality opponents twice this year. Right. You know, but like I said, I mean, it's like, like I said, it, oh, I mean, Shakur obviously will put himself in that short list, and you know, well, yeah. hey, what, do you, what do you think uh, uh, the, the Shakur Casale fights? How that fight will go? What do you think the result will be? No, I think Shakur's going to beat him pretty easily. 
Like how easily? I don't know. Like it, it, it's, how it, easy it's very very easy. Decision. Like I I think I think this could unfortunately this has the potential to be kind of a stinker um, with their styles. Um, hopefully, um, Shakur digs in his ass. Pause. Um, but, uh, yes, I, I I said pause already. So yeah, no, I had to um, change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that did, that deserved a double. <laughs> uh, pause for all of us. But yeah, yeah I just I don't see Kasey out troubling Shakur. I don't think he does anything better than Shakur. Um, he might move a little better than Shakur, <laughs> yeah. and that's why I think this could be a stinker. But yeah, I just I think Shakur will box him up pretty easily. So 118, 110. Damn, you, you give him two rounds. <laughs> nah, I'll give him two play rounds. Like I, I don't, I don't predict shutouts. So I'll give him like two rounds just because. Damn. Oh, yeah. where? So. You know what I'm saying? And Pat, did you give your prediction? I don't think you did. <laughs> um, honestly, probably Shakur wide decision. Um. Uh, I'm gonna just say stoppage. Fuck it. I'm gonna say Shakur will stop him like in the tent. Um, yeah, I think we'll get him with a body shot or something and wear him down and eventually just kind of break him down and you know get us get you know get get him out of there. Yeah. So like I said, I mean, well, I mean, I mean, Shakur does that. I mean, I mean, if Shakur stops him, great. That's even better. If Shakur at least beats him on an entertaining decision, that's also good too. But yeah, we can as long as it's not a Nakatia type of win. You know, then yeah, yeah, that's cool. Cause like I say, you know, Shakur has a lot of momentum on his side. Especially. Yeah, but like Android said, uh, he could benefit from a stoppage for the casuals. Oh yeah, and, and, yeah get absolutely. that buzz going or keep it going. I mean, I would say it has, has been a while. I mean, he did stop pairing like two fight uh, two fights ago, so it's not a bit a while. I mean, he, I mean, he did really beat up Jamel Hearn, so it's yeah. And before that, I think the pandemic won. Yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, the fourth game kicked up. Yeah, that that, that pandemic knock, uh, knockout was pretty good too, because he you know he put he put foot in his ass on that one. You know, so yeah, yeah I think. But like I said, I think Shakur you know definitely turned the corner on, on in terms of he. I think he understands what he needs to do. Like you know, like no. I mean, yeah, if, if you're faster than the guy, quicker hand, you, you process shit, you quicker, quicker mind. Like start showing it, damn it! Like mm-hmm. you're having all these special powers and you're damn. Getting thrown into walls and shit like more for some shit like <laughs> for real, you know. But but I mean I still look look at and and the fact that it's on Friday, you know, I look forward to it. You know what I'm saying? Because like hey, Friday boxing, Saturday boxing, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta you know, just like I said, just gotta make sure that at least it, you gotta make sure it's all good. But uh, yeah.